Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Mori's Plays Let's Play of Pokemon Legends Arceus. And we're on day five. We've just entered the Heartwood, as you can see there, a little notification. We are out in the wilderness and we're now heading all the way across to um, another waypoint across the field lands. Uh, back towards Aspiration Hill, I believe. It's kind of near our base camp, I think. Um, so that's where we're heading anyway. So we're going to go and follow this. The, the game's pretty good at showing us where we need to go. Um, but it all, it's also no problem if we want to go off on a tangent and catch some Pokemon and things like that. So um, I think we've got a good army. Let's just have a double check. Um... Real quick of our Pokemon, yeah, pretty much, you can see the HP, apart from Beedoof, uh, we're all pretty full of HP, which is good, so, we can continue, maybe if we see some cool Pokemon, look at that Psyduck, just having a little swim in the river there, um, but yeah, we can, as we make our way there, we can collect some resources, hopefully, catch some new Pokemon, and, yeah, just continue exploring, we're gonna take this Let's Play, as I'm sure you've gathered by now, probably a lot slow, oh, there's a, Pokemon flying! How do we catch those ones? Um, oh, you don't have any space? Oh no! We're, we're at max capacity. What if we... What if we craft something? Um, that's interesting. So we're already at a max capacity. Right, let's see if we can craft something. But yeah, as you probably already guessed, we do tend to take things a lot slower than most. Oh, we don't have any... Apricorns. Um, we haven't got any wood. Oh, so our pockets are full. That's kind of weird. Um, sorry, I keep bringing up the wrong menu there. But we've got plenty. Uh, we're going to have to buy some more space. It looks like we will need to make space uh, and keep buying those extra item slots. Wow, that filled up quickly. Okay, well, we'll just have to leave some things behind. Oh, look at that! Is that one of those, uh, oh, what's it called? It's a, uh, did it just disappear? Oh, it disappeared. Run, a Zubat's eating us! <laughs> it was one of those little, uh, like, uh, what is it? Like, Generation 3 Metapods or whatever. I can't think of its name. Does that mean we can't pick these up then? Because we desperately need... Oh no! We desperately need more of these to build more Pokeballs. Okay, I think if we've still got them in our pockets, we can still add to it. We just can't collect new items, must be. Um, in that case, we could probably... No, we're going to have to... Okay, we're just going to have to go and buy some more space, I think. Oh, it looks like there might be a Jew dude in here. Um, right, let's uh, see if we can catch it straight away so we don't waste too much time battling. We need to get across this river. But yeah, we're going to take this much slower, as you probably guess. We like to... Yeah, we got it! We like to explore. We like to just do what we want to do. Um, and we, while we are kind of following the story, um, we are just going about it however we want to. And doing a little bit of walking around, catching the Pokemon we want to catch. So, I've also, I've taken it on board. I'm not going to be rolling around as much like this. Because um, it's quite hard to keep up with, isn't it? And I know it can be a bit kind of jittery to watch. So, I'm going to try my best not to roll around too much. Right, I think we... Are these the acorns that we can't collect now? Oh, uh, we don't have space. Right, we're gonna have to... We need acorns for Pokeball, so we're gonna have to get rid of an item. Um, do you know what I think we should get rid of? The revive, because I don't know what any of the others do. And it might be like the one time we find it, whereas Revive, we can craft those, so I'm just going to discard it and instead pick up the Apricorn, because those we need to craft, so that's a little bit of a 
I don't know. Strange decision we've had to make there. Um, but I'm pretty sure we can craft revives. I'm sure we can buy them from somewhere. And apricorns are a key crafting material, so we're gonna need we're gonna need those in our pockets. Right. Let's see if we can get see once we get back towards the. Uh, we could have fast traveled actually, but then we might miss some nighttime Pokemon. So we're just gonna go back this way. And I'm hoping actually we see another Pikachu. Wasn't it around here we saw that Pikachu and we haven't caught one yet. So this is why I'm kind of liking this game actually. Because there's no pressure to go in the direction that we need to. But also we can it kind of explore a little bit. We'll do a fire attack on this. Uh, Cricketune. Because it's going to be like super effective, isn't it? Oh, it's hurt by the burn. There we go. This should finish it off. Sorry, Cricketune. You are qu you're kind of creepy, but you're also kind of cute. But we need to battle. There we go. So we should be... Oh, Paris. Two Parises. It's coming for us! Oh, it battled the other one! Oh, it's a two-way battle. Okay, why is it running after me? <laughs> um, there we go. Oh, it's just taking it out. Do we need to catch a Paris? I can't remember. I think we already caught one, didn't we? This is a little bit stronger, this Paris. Level 12. Paris is looking around. <laughs> uh, okay, let's... Throw a Pokeball. I wonder I wonder if the heavy balls work from during battle as well. Like how close do you have to be or can they be thrown from anywhere? Unlike when you're just walking around. Oh, it used absorb! So we should be able to we might be able to attack it again actually, just one more time. It's close. Yes. Whew. That was close. And it should get it this time. Yay! So it's kind of funny that this game, it pushes you in the direction where you need to catch like a bazillion Pokemon over and over again. Whereas in past games, at least the way I played, you just need like one or two, unless you're breeding them for specific abilities or something. Um, but I think there's... I can't remember how many Pokemon there are in total now. It's like over 900, I think. I'm not sure how many are in this game, though. Oh, a cherry berry. Listen to the music. Oh, some scary noises. Right, we're also going on a bit of a resource hunt. There we go. I don't know how to get back. We might end up having to fast travel. Something's looking at us, but what is it? What is that? Is that it's going to be a Paris or something. Yep. Mushroom. Yeah, so if we've already... Oh, look, there's the Paris' evolution. Parasect. Is that what's hunting us? Whoa! What is that? What was that? How is that little Paris doing that? Um... Okay, well, we might as well do some battles as well. I think we're at the point now where we can start looking at the research and seeing what research we need from each... Uh... Oh, we can't do it in a battle. See what research we need from each Pokemon. Where's that... Pa oh, the Paris got scared away. Oh, no, it didn't. There it is. Oh, it's an alpha one. It's got red eyes. Um... Can we lock onto it? There's creepy. That's obviously what's making the noise. How do we? Oh. 
How do we lock onto it? Whoa! Parasect, level 30. Oh, it's raiding a poor Cyndaquil! Don't know how Cyndaquil will fare in this battle. He's got an upper hand. And he's dead. <laughs> no, poor Cyndaquil! But we burnt Parasect, so we might. We might be okay. Um, what's the next best thing? Starly, maybe? I always feel like flying types are good against uh, bug Pokemon. Oh, we destroyed it! Critical hit! We wanted to catch it! <laughs> What's this? XP candy. Our pockets are full. No! Our pockets are full again. What can we get rid of this time? Um, super potion. I'm going to get rid of these potions. 60 HP versus 100 HP. Okay, I'm going to get rid of these super potions. I know there'll be some Pokemon fans that probably think I'm crazy. But I'd rather pick up something new. Um, in favor of carrying something we haven't... Or something that we could probably buy from somewhere, if that makes sense. Okay, how do we get out of here? Oh, we've got some Pokemon that can evolve as well. So we have to do it from the menu, apparently. Um, so Shinx is ready to evolve. So we might as well evolve. Let's do it! Our first evolution! I suppose there's advantages to not evolving the Pokemon. Whoa! Wow. Hey! Congratulations! Your Shinx evolved into Luxio. Nice. Did we have another one that could evolve? Starly. Oh, Beedoof as well. Um, okay. May as well. May as well evolve all of them. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I like the way the, the tune is the same. It's always the same. There we go. I want to say looking fierce, but it, it doesn't really. Uh, Bibberall, I guess you pronounce that as. And Starly's the... Oh, it's the Pokeball's flashing when it wants to evolve. Cool. But yeah, there might be some benefits not to evolve them if you've got certain research um, tasks to do. Or maybe you need a specific move and learn it earlier or something. I'm sure there are benefits to not evolving them. So it's kind of cool that you can choose when to do it rather than just them doing it automatically. There we go. Star Revere. Right, can we climb up here? Don't tell me it's like Breath of the Wild where it's getting <laughs> it's wet so we can't climb the mountain. Okay, there's lots of uh Leave us alone. Okay, we're gonna have to try and go the long way. Let's have a look at the map just a second. Yeah, we might end up having to go. Can we zoom in? Um yeah, so this is where the Parasect was. So we might end up having to go around here, I think. Oh, there's our other base camp. Okay, let's go around the mountain then. Oh, there's another Geodude in here. A Geodude leaped out! There you go, Water Pulse. Finally, we have a water move. Later, Geodude. Right, bringing out electric Pokemon for the advantage against flying. My, my, I do have a little bit of knowledge, but it's pretty basic. Um, Thunderfang, as long as we can bite it. <laughs> Whoa, see? Whoa, level 17 that was. 
Nice. Um, right, let's keep going. See if we can get up higher. I remember now, we, we ended up falling down from there, didn't we? That's how we got into this region in the first place. If anyone knows how to jump or climb things faster or high, get high ground, and I'm not doing it, please let me know. Um... <laughs> It seems silly that we can't just kind of like launch up there. Okay, go straight into battle again. Yeah, there's not many Pokemon games where I kind of like to willingly battle. I like the exploring side of it and puzzles and tasks and stuff. But in this game, I am drawn a little bit more to having those battles. Sorry, Geo dude. Right, can we get up this way? It's very strange. There must be... I must be doing something wrong. Or maybe we can buy some climbing shoes or something later on. We got down there. What's that? Oh, is that... Uh, what is that? Oh, I thought it was a, one of those hoot hoot things. An owl Pokemon, but it's not. It's one of those ladybugs. You really want to fight us? Level 14. We should probably start catching some of these. Um, oh, that was too strong. Um, okay, should we go... Yeah, I guess we can go down. Oh, that tree shaking. Last time that happened, there was a Pokemon in it. Hey, what's that? What was it? A Barmy. Uh, okay, level 12. We're going to have to try and go easy. Our Pokemon are getting quite strong now. That's that's okay. Ooh, what, are you, what was that? Not familiar with that attack. There we go. In the next Pokemon we see, I'm going to try and look at the research tasks. Um, did we catch it? Oh, there's another one. Another one picking a fight. Oh, it evaded the attack. Luxio, no! Um... Okay, we'll send out Eevee. Eevee. Eevee's quite a, just an ordinary Pokemon. But the potential Eevee has is crazy. So many different evolutions. Give it all you've got, Eevee. Yeah, that was pretty good. Another quick attack. Oh, there we go. If we can get one more in. And that should be it. Okay, right, where are we going? This way. Leave us alone! <laughs> They're all attacking. Um, how do we focus again? Whoa! Yeah, I don't know where our health is, by the way, if, if we just get hit so many times. Uh, oh, sorry, I said I wasn't going to roll so much. <gasps> An Abra! I need it. It's got her back to us as well. Oh, it teleported. Oh. Oh, there it is. It's back again. If we go into battle, it's just going to... It's just going to teleport. Oh, I knew it was going to do that. Oh, right in the head. Please catch it. That would be so good. Oh, it got away. Ah, oh, we got it again before it tried to teleport. 
Don't, you're not going anywhere until we catch you. Yes, we caught it. Level 9 Abra. Nice. Psychic Pokemon. That's such an achievement, I feel like. Reminds me of the older games. You, if you could get an Abra, you were so lucky in the early stages of the game. Right, is that Pokemon sleeping? Right, let's try this research thing again. Right, so there it says level 11. Oh, it's down, isn't it? Number court, number of times you've seen it use Aqua Jet. Okay, number of different forms you've obtained. Oh, yeah, we need to check out our Starly because apparently we have two different forms. Okay, so let's see if we can catch it while it's... Let's try and use a heavy ball. We're quite close. We should. It was asleep. We should be able to catch it. I was going to say, how is that not one of the researchers? Uh, catch a Pokemon while it's asleep. What's that? Paris hiding in the grass again. Okay, this is why I like not fast traveling when you don't have to or if you haven't got something important to do. Because you can just find so much more stuff. Resources, Pokemon. Very much the same as Breath of the Wild, isn't it? Can't cross this river very well. Oh, look, there's a Snorlax! <laughs> oh, wow! How do we. I want to cross over! There's no way we're going to be able to get to you, is there? Oh. You think we can battle it from here? Oh, that did not. Look how cute it is! Wait a minute, it's an alpha one. I think its eyes are red. Ah, oh, we, we need a stronger Pokemon. That's a shame. I don't like leaving a Pokemon behind that we've seen for the first time. Right, let's climb up and get a bit of a better view. So yeah, both of these episodes, I imagine, are going to be quite explorey. And they will still be story-driven. But don't be surprised to see me just walk around for an hour finding Pokemon. Hopefully that's okay with you. Of course, don't forget to leave your feedback and your tips and tricks. Anything you think I should know, it would be very helpful. Um, because I'm definitely, I don't know a lot about um, Sort of modern Pokemon games. Well, I think our base camp is up here, so I'm just going to go and heal our Pokemon. If we can climb up here. So we're back to where we kind of started off yesterday. Here we go. Here's our base camp. Uh, oh, can we switch our Pokemon here as well? I want to get Abra on our team. Uh, just We'll just snooze for a little while because I don't want to change the time of day, really. I quite like just letting the day go as we go. You need to switch up your Pokemon. Or, or buy items we can as well. I'd like to see my Pokemon. Right, so let's get rid of... Is our pasture full? Okay, so it goes into pasture two. So who do we want to get rid of? We need... a. We need that one for a water move, don't we? Unless we get... Let's get Psyduck. How... how le, What level is Psyduck? Level 14. Okay, we'll take Psyduck out. I think we're going to have to get rid of Drifloon. Because we don't want two... We don't want two Psychic Pokemon. 
Even though Abra doesn't know any moves, but hopefully he'll get experience and evolve, so. Right, okay. Uh, let's see. That's all we need from here. What do you have to say? Better check in with the professor. Good to see you, Maury. And how is your research into Cleavor going? Swimmingly, I expect. Yeah, we're on our way there now, actually. Oh, is that so? Now, that's quite the tidbit. So, a serving of his favourite foods will normally make Cleavor quite agreeable. Is that it? I need to mull this over back at the laboratory. You should come along too, dear boy. Oh. What? That's not what I expected to happen. I thought we were going to make our way there by ourselves. Uh, but we've caught a lot of Pokemon, though. And we're learning what foods different Pokemon like. Um, items they sometimes carry, it seems. Oh, forms. I see. I thought they meant, like, shinies. Okay. That makes sense. Um, okay, so we're going back to the lab then. Just like that, <laughs> we were enjoying our wander across the obsidian field lands. So according to the information you were able to learn from Rita and Lion uh, of the Pearl Clan, were this the normal course of events that fr a frenzied Cleavor would be calmed by a nice serving of his two favourite foods? I do wonder... Is it possible that the aromas or some other components of these foods might combine in a way that you could not only calm Cleavor, but draw him back from his frenzy? But by your report, even Cleavor's warden, who looks after Cleavor and knows him well, cannot approach him in his current state. It would be a fool's gambit to get close enough to offer him food. Hmm, give me a moment if you would. I need some time to ponder on this. There ought to be something in my research notes that can help us. Look at that Pikachu. Is there, there going to be an alpha Pikachu? That's a loud clock. <laughs> okay, he's pondering. The professor's pondering. Oh, I think he's got an idea. Eureka! We'll simply have to throw the food. <laughs> it took you that long to work that one out. We've quite the arm for throwing things, haven't you, Maury? Might I suggest that you take Cleavor's favourite foods and throw them at the Pokemon? Hmm, makes sense. Yes, it's all coming uh, together. We can use our skill in Pokeball crafting to shape Cleavor's beloved foods into balls. Then throw them to achieve the same calming effect, but from afar. A brilliant idea, if I do say so myself. As for what to call these yummy projectiles, well, how about tea time balls? Puts one in mind of a nice, relaxing afternoon tea, does it not? Why wouldn't you simply call them Levington Balls, Professor? Oh my, with that name, it, it sounds like I'm the one being launched with the frenzied uh, friend. Uh. In any case, we can rely on the Pearl Clan to gather the necessary foodstuffs, correct? I hope so. Because I don't even know, we don't even know what they are yet, do we? Then you should get back to the Grand Tree Arena and let the Pearl Clan know our plan. If you're off to Grand Tree Arena, best set out from the uh, Heights camp. Yeah, that's where we just were, isn't it? But we need to go and buy some. Is are you the are you the buyer, the seller? Should I say the satchel person? Uh, yes. How much was it again? We got more money this time. But we, we've learned already that our satchel is full. We need the space because we're going to keep coming across new items as well. We don't want to throw anything away that we don't have to. We don't want to keep repeating that. Uh, we've already lost some revives some and some super potions. 1500 This is going to get expensive real quick. I'm just going to blow my money on this, I think. Here, spend all of it. We're only going to be able to do it like two more times because double, it doubles each time, it looks like. Uh, two th oh no, it's just going up by 500 Poké Dollars each time, so we might get a few more spaces. Seems a bit extreme to uh, send us to this screen every time though. Um, two, yeah, it's going up 500 Poké Dollars now, so we might be able to do another two. And then we will be broke. 3,000, oh no, we can't do any more, because it'll be 3,500 next. But that's four or five uh, spaces we've just bought. Which is good. Let's have a, a little look here. Um, 
There we go. Oh, yeah. Five more spaces. Uh, but more importantly, we're, we're carrying a apricorns and stuff, so. Excellent. Um, right, what's this? Do we need to... Oh, there's some stuff on the board. There are some request posts on the blackboard. Will you check it? Zubat's eyes. Uh, Clarissa from the security corps has a request for us. Something to do with Zubat, I believe. Talk to the good lady and investigate as necessary if you please. This is cool because if we just activate them, we don't even have to do them if we don't want. But at least they're there if we decide we do want to do them. Or if we get bored of walking and exploring and finding Pokemon, which we might not for a while because it's, kind of, it's kind of fun. I look, kind of like doing that. Um, we could we could spend a day trying to do some uh, side quests and stuff. Right, what were we supposed to be doing again? Going back to the Heights camp. I think let's have a little check of the map here. Um, oh yes, we're going here. So it's near. I think that's near where that Snorlax was. Okay, let's uh, let's go. We've got our Abra. I wish it would follow us. Uh, my, my, the Galaxy Hall is one fine building, even from the outside. The Galaxy team certainly got themselves a grand headquarters. I'll give them that. Oh, I'm glad you find it impressive. Oh, yes, I came because I had some news that I thought might you might be interested in. Better you actually see what's going on, though. Let's head to... What did you end up calling it? The Heights Camp? Yeah. See, the game fast travels a lot for us anyway, so when we have the option to do it, we may as well, especially at this stage, just take a little time just to to get there ourselves. Oh, it's the... Uh, oh, my goodness. What's this Pokemon called? Oh, yeah. Why, dear? I think. I spoke to Rye, dear, about what's going on. I told how did he talk? Is he a psychic? I told him how you've been trekking all over the field land seeking a way to quill Cleavor's frenzy. All this from someone who's not even part of our clan or the Pearl Clan. Just some wanderer who fell through a rift into this world. And hearing that, well, you can see how he responded. I trust you appreciate it. Ride is fond of you you worthy you see, which means you need to a flute like we have. Mind demonstrating for him my... A flute. This is very important, so listen well. I recognise that sound. Very talented. Okay, is that... I don't know if that's aggravating him or not. Adamant, that's a celestial... Fl a celestial flute that Mai just played. It's a, a precious tool that can be used to call on Rydir so you can ride upon him. I hope I'm pronouncing the name correct. It's said that the Celestica flutes were gifts from the almighty Sinnoh itself. And now, this one's yours. Thank you. A flute that can be used to call special Pokemon that are willing to bear you round the region. Its timber is eerie and mysterious. It's not a grand, uh, it's not that a grand gesture, really. I can't play the flute for the for the life of me. I don't know if we'll be much better. See, you can play that melody, okay? Yeah, natural, pure talent. <laughs> Are you going to be able to climb up things easy? A right deer opened his eyes and learned well the sound of your playing. Good to know. You received a mind plate from Rydir. A stone tablet imbued with the essence of psychic energy. When used on certain Pokemon, it allows the Pokemon to gain the power of the psychic type. There's so much to learn in Pokemon. Now use the Celestica flute wisely and gallop across the land with the great Rydir. You've got a frenzied Pokemon to quill at the Grand Tree Arena, haven't you? With Rydir, you can gallop across the field lands in no time. Well, we're in no rush to get there, but it's definitely good to have. Press the plus button to summon a Pokemon to ride on. Um, be sure to stay alert for wild Pokemon attacks and avoid falls from high places while you're riding about. Okay. 
Uh, take my adorable balloons with your Pokemon! Nice to meet you, young Survey Corps recruit. I hear that you have a rare ability to dash over hill and veil on the back of a Pokemon, yes? Well, why not try your hand at a balloon race? It's a game I invented myself. It's simple, really. You just need to burst as many of my adorable balloons as possible while riding a Pokemon. If you manage to burst, say, 17 balloons, well, that'd be an impressive start. You can find me here anytime, so let me know whenever you feel like testing the skill in the balloon race. Okay, um, let's try it. Ride a Pokemon and smash through balloons. Ride, 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 and burst them all. If you manage to burst, say, 17 balloons, We'll say it's impressive. What about it, kid? Want to play? Yes. There are a total of 30 balloons on the course. Let's see how many of them you burst. This is very much like Breath of the Wild, isn't it? It reminds me of the ones where you have to... Um, you do a little race with the devices. 45 seconds. Okay. Do we have to summon the ride here? Or, do we, or are we already on it? Okay. Whoa! Oh, they, they, they better not be Pokemon. Okay, we're going. Oh, I missed one. Where are we at? 11. Whoa, where are we going? Okay, it's getting harder. Wow, we're doing pretty okay, I think. Oh, 24 is pretty good. Almost all of them. We, I think I'd missed a corner somewhere there. <laughs> Welcome back, you burst 24 balloons. Not bad, not bad at all. For someone so skilled, I'll offer this as a reward. You obtain two springy mushrooms. Oh, thank you. I'm sure we'll be able to cook something with those. What do you know? You beat my target of bursting at least 17 balloons. Well done, you. Hey, that's quite fun. Oh, we got a rare candy. And feather balls. What are those? Are they for Pokemon that are currently in flight, maybe? You can take part in blue races in other places as well. The race is the easiest of the lot. Let's see if you have what it takes to challenge them all and raise your skill to the next level. Nice. Can we blow up these rocks? Because they look like they could be smashed, don't they? I don't know if that's just a coincidence. Right, we're heading in this direction. I thought we were heading back to base camp, but... Our first base camp. It looks like we're heading up here. This is um, this is where we were already, wasn't it? The t the tree. Looks like we're heading back to the tree where we started today. Is that the same tree? Let's have a look at the map. Yeah, it's the same. The heartwood. So we've got to go through the pantry and over the dam. Okay, this is sort of where we saw the Pikachu. Somewhere here. Um, there's something rustling in that tree. But I don't know where we should drop down. This is where we dropped down last time. So maybe we should go this way because then we might see that Pikachu again. I think it was in that canyon over there. Just sort of at the top of the screen there. Okay, we need to get our Abra experience up. But it can't battle. It's only got the teleport move, which I think just teleports us from battle. So I'm just going to try and catch it. Uh, does this give us information on what these Pokeballs do? What does the Feather Ball do? Oh, level 17. We're probably not going to catch it straight away. I'll be very surprised if we do. Oh, wow. Consider me very surprised. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, I really want to catch the Pikachu. It was over here. It was down in that little trench near that. There's a person over there. Oh, I could just notice we've got the ride ear icon on the screen now. It was down here. It was walking through here. It's not spawned back in. 
That's annoying. They must be pretty rare. We'll take out this little bug Pokemon. This will give Abra some experience because of the experience share. Oh, did it run away? Weird. Oh, it's another one of these. Barmy. Burmy? Barmy. There we go. We'll defeat a few Pokemon here and there just to get some experience. Um, oh, I'm really... was hoping to see another Pikachu. Maybe we'll come across loads at, at one point, maybe. But they are quite... They always remind me of the first gen. It's quite rare to get a, a Pikachu early on. Definitely need to collect all the apricorns as well because we're going to need to get more and more Pokeballs. I don't think you can buy Pokeballs. <gasps> a Pikachu! Yes. Okay, so... Right, it's going this way again. What's good against electric? Oh, we'll put electric against electric because we don't want to faint it. Um, I don't want to battle that ladybug either. Pikachu, don't run away. Okay, level 9. That's not so bad. Pikachu used Thunder Wave already. Yeah, it doesn't have an effect on an electric-type Pokemon. Ooh. Okay, let's throw a Pokeball. Pikachu! Please! And then we can move on with our day. No! Don't run! Oh, right, that's okay. Still battling for the moment. It's not a very bright Pikachu, though. Just try to use two electric attacks. Um, it's like RGN, or RNG, sorry. So it's like completely random whether we can catch it. So we just, we will get it if we just keep throwing Pokeballs. Eventually. <laughs> Pikachu, stay in the Pokeball out of the rain. No. Oh, we can't put you to sleep because we... Whoa. We don't have any other Pokemon that can put you to sleep. Um, well, maybe Psyduck. Um, is there a way to check Psyduck's moves? Not a good idea to bring out Psyduck because he's water, but... But we might be able to do a tiny attack or put... Oh, we haven't... I thought Psyduck might have been able to use... Uh sleep or like hypnosis or something come on pikachu stop being difficult <laughs> yay finally okay and all it took was a paralyzed psyduck Whew. nice there we go Whew. getting windy here a number of light specimens you've caught oh it's a light pikachu this weather's probably going to show us some different pokemon Which way are we heading? This way. Totally lost the marker there. There we go. So we're in the pantry. So we're heading towards the dam, going over the river, and then we should be able to get up to the tree. So we've caught quite a lot of Pokemon. Done some cool stuff today. What's down there? Woo. Big drop. Oh. Uh, what's that flying? What 
was that? Oh, is that one of the star Starvia? Oh, does it evolve again, maybe? Can we battle it in the sky? How do we get how do we get it? Maybe we have to reach it from that side. Nope. Okay, let's keep going. It looks like we've got to go all the way over to this broken... It's like a dam here. It's kind of all broken though, isn't it? But this is literally where we started. So we ended up going to back to the camp. Back with the professor. And then all the way back again. We could have done it so much quicker as well with fast travel, but then we would have missed out on so much Pokemon. And we certainly wouldn't have caught a Pikachu. Which is good. We're doing well, I think, at collecting materials. Could it come in handy as well, I think. Um, the more materials we have, the easier things will be later on in the game, I'm sure. I don't know how long this game is, though. I mean, you, I'm sure you can complete the story mode, but to complete the actual research and stuff is probably just... It's going to be one of those games that's almost close to never-ending. If you have to catch every Pokemon 25 times, that's insane. Oh, there it is. That... Uh, Thing again. What's it called? Don't disappear. A uh, cascoon. I knew, I knew it. There we go. Hopefully it doesn't run away. No. There we go. So we've got to be careful now because our Pokemon are getting quite high levels. Which means it's... Uh, it's difficult to catch the less experienced Pokemon because you can easily faint them. So it might pay sometimes if we're specifically on the hunt for Pokemon. It might it might pay to have a low uh, Pokemon in our party. Oh no! Wasted a heavy ball. Oh look at these! What are they swimming out in the rain for? Dust stocks. Um, okay, critical hit there. Whoa! The moves look so good, don't they? Right. Um, oh, we're poison. There's a poison attack. Some kind of poison attack. We'll save you from the rain. I didn't think moths could fly in the rain. I keep pressing the wrong button. This is why we're going through so many Pokeballs. Yay, we got it. Look at the research whilst you're in battle with them. Uh, is there a way to? No. What? 
attempt how did that not do much damage? Fire should be critical hits. Whoa. The defense stats were raised. Don't poison our Cyndaquil. <laughs> there we go. Defeated. How do we get across here? Oh, they're back again. Are the spawn locations the same for every game then? Or is it random encounters? Like, I'm assuming that Snorlax is, that we saw is the same for every... Um, every time you play, it's always going to be there. Like, we made it somehow. Back to the, the Deku tree. We're back again. Uh, so you say that the galaxy people came with a message to try and quell Lord Cleavor's frenzy. Yes. What? You'll mash up Cleavor's favourite foods into balls so you can throw offerings at him. Well, that's quite an unorthodox approach. You galaxy people, your inventiveness just blows me away. I mean, now you can make offerings to Lord Cleavor's from a safe distance. I'll lend you my aid if it means we might provide Cleavor's with his offering. Let's begin at once. Hold on, Leanne. Uh, oh, is it Leanne or Lion? Don't get ahead of yourself. Who's that? Whatever the plan is, you'll need Cleavor's favourite plump beans. I've brought them, as promised. Oh yeah, they were going to source the food, weren't they? Uh, my apologies, Arita, I've forgotten all about you. I'll admit, as we haven't been able to solve this ourselves, we seem to have a little choice but to turn to team, uh, Galaxy Team. But even I still have my doubts about whether we should entrust such a thing to an outsider. These Galaxy Team people don't share our customs or our values. So, prove to me you're worthy to stand in the presence of a noble Pokemon. You may battle by ordering about the Pokemon you've caught in your little Pokeballs. But on my side, I have a Pokemon as close to me as a sister, as one of my blood. If you can defeat Glaceon, nice, and me, I will entrust you with Cleavor's fate. Will you battle us? You bet. Um, then allow Glaceon's true strength to chill you to your depths. So that's the, Glaceon's the evolution. One of Eevee's evolutions. Evolution. And it's ice, isn't it? So we should be alright, isn't it? Ooh, flame wheel. Nice. There we go. Two moves. Look how cute it is. Oh, I forgot about the strong style. Um, Syndical fainted! Wow, okay. Um, next best is electric, I guess. Not sure how electric fares against ice. Let's do a Thundershock strong style. Ooh, paralyzed it! Sorry, Glaceon. Wow, that looks cool. Two attacks in a row? We've got a quick attack. May all, may only be what we need. Yes, just enough. So sorry, Glaceon. Battle decided. Okay, there we go. So Abra's leveling up. Almost caught up with the rest of our party. I see now. Pokeballs are simply your tools of choice. Not products of disre uh, disregard for Pokemon. You still understand the Pokemon that you've caught and treat them as partners. I feel better putting my trust in you now, I think. Let me see your Pokemon's wounds. Thank you. Now, explain the Galaxy Team's plan. What do you mean to do with these foods? We're going to mash them, squish them, and throw them. So because you have keep your distance, you'll mash Cleveland's favourite foods together, ball them up, and try and quill his frenzy by throwing them at him. Interesting. So you've developed soothing balms of sorts to calm our lord. 
Very well, if it'll help soothe Cleavor's frenzy, let's make these bombs with our very hearts and souls. Okay. There we go, so we're cooking up some nice food, it seems. Hey, how many do we get? There, a vertebral mountain of bombs. This should please Cleavor, if anything can. Now then, ready yourself, and I will summon our mighty Cleavor, Lord of the Woods. I'm ready. I don't know what to expect here. I have no idea what this thing looks like. As am I. <laughs> oh, mighty Cleavor, Lord of the Woods. So it isn't yet the time of ceremony. We prepared an offering of your favorite things. Benevolent Lord who works his might between the heavens and earth, we offer our gratitude. Uh, beseech you reveal yourself to our eyes. Listen well, Maury. Keep your focus on Cleavor. Dodging will be vital. Try to avoid his moves as you're throwing the bombs. Oh. I don't know what we're expecting here. Is this like a boss fight or what? I'm nervous. <laughs> is it, is, it's not the tree, is it? Whoa. Oh, I was not expecting that. Lord of the Woods, Cleavor. Okay. Um, to calm victory, or claim victory, sorry, against a noble Pokemon and quill its frenzy, you have to throw bombs at it until its frenzy gauge reaches zero. If you manage to create an opening in the noble's defenses, you'll be able to send out your Pokemon to battle against it. Win the Pokemon battle and the noble's guard will stay down for a brief time. During the window, bombs will be more effective than usual, so throw as many as you can. Okay. Um... Okay, we can dodge it pretty well. Oh, if we got a health bar. Okay, I might have to do some rolling here. I take it we've got an infinite uh, amount of uh, forest balm. Okay, it's working. Oh, we could use the tree against it. There we go, it just keeps hitting the tree. Oh, we got attacked even behind the tree. Oh, it got us again. Oh no. I think we're on our last life. Okay, we, we're trying to... We're nearly there. Okay, I think we're going to battle it now. Whew, that was intense. I think we were down to our last, like, health point or something. That's a big satchel. Did we free its frenzy? What are you? <laughs> Whoa, look at how much points we got. He, oh, Abra can evolve, which means Abra can probably learn some psychic moves now. 
Are you willing to battle? You received the insect play from Cleavor. A stone tablet imbued with the essence of bugs. When you use it on certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of bug type. Interesting. Still lots to learn. Oh, come back! We want to battle you and catch you. Oh, I suppose we can't catch it. Is it? It's not our Pokemon. It's not a wild Pokemon, is it? What happened? Some kind of light uh, erupted from Cleavor's body. Has Lord Cleavor's frenzied mind truly been put at ease now? Does this confirm that the strange lightning was to blame of Cleavor's unnatural power? Maybe. I would say yes. Well, that this is what I think. After all we've seen, we know some uh, strange lightning came from out of the space-time rift the other night. These bolts must have struck Cleavor's and driven him into a frenzy after all. The lightning came from the space-time rift. But if Almighty Sinnoh really does dwell beyond the space-time rift, then the strange lightning, it indeed was Almighty Sinnoh's power. Then we were even right to try, uh, were we even right to try to interfere? I happily went along with this plan to create some bombs, as if I knew what I was doing, like some kind of thoughtless fool. Outrageous. Calm yourself, lion. Remember that the Lord of the Woods has long been our protector, keeping the Pearl Clan safe from dangerous Pokemon that might harm us. Would power sent by the true almighty Sinnoh be driven Cleavor to turn on, uh, on us and attack people and Pokemon indiscriminately? I doubt it. What more he accomplished just now, it needed to be done. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad we could settle this without further strife with the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy team. If you come across other Pokemon in the grip of this uh, painful frenzy, please help them. Mm, yes, fine. I suppose I must concur. I apologize for becoming briefly incomposed. I gra I'm grateful for what you've done for my lord. Please take these on behalf of the Pearl Clan. Consider it my apology for having spoken rudely to you earlier and a token of my thanks. What did we get? Have we got space to carry them? You obtained three uh, citrus berries. A berry that can be fed to a Pokemon to restore its HP. Uh, let me care for your Pokemon as well. I appreciate for fight, uh, uh, in appreciation for fighting on our behalf. Thank you. I think I finally come to believe that you truly did fall out of the sky. Through though I cannot imagine the reasons at play, and it seems we've settled things here. Though between you and me, I wouldn't mind seeing Lord Cleaver in such a frenzy again. He was fearfully strong after all. And they're gone. <laughs> Uh, report to Commander uh, Kamado, Kamado, and you uh, that you accomplished the mission. There we go. So we need to head back to town now and report our latest findings. Um, I don't suppose there's anything left behind here to explore. But there we go. So it's a good place to wrap it up. We've done a lot of exploring today, a lot of walking. We've got some new Pokemon. We've managed to catch ourselves an Abra, which is really cool, which we can evolve as well. And we moved on with the story. So we didn't do much research, but we definitely progressed a lot and enjoyed exploring. So I think that is pretty good. So I hope you enjoyed this series as well. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for being here with me today, especially if you made it to the end. Well done. And thank you so, so much. And of course, before we leave, huge shout out to the channel members as well. Could not do it without you. So just know I really, really, really appreciate you. So thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.